and in one single click you get again the desired effects. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Cristi Leal and today I'm going to show you how I edit my Instagram pictures and before you do anything else, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well as turning on that notification bell to get a notification every time I post a new video. So the app that I use to edit my photos is Lightroom and it has been a lifesaver. Here I'm, I am going to select one of my pictures which is from my trip to the beach and I'm gonna get started. I use a preset because I already have it saved the way that I want it to but I'm gonna show you guys how to get the lightning and color in my preset and then I'm gonna show you how to save it to turn it into a preset because I had just found out how to make presets like a week ago and it has really saved me a lot of time when editing pictures. I have here in my computer all the things that I want. So the first one is the exposure and I'm gonna set it to plus 0.50. And then my contrast, I'm going to leave it at 2. 2. Highlights, it's negative 50. To make it pop a little bit more. And then shadows at plus 60. Because it, it was a very sunny day and it had a lot of shadows in this picture. So I'm just going to get rid of them. And then for the whites, I'm gonna set it at plus 45 to make the white colors really pop and the black ones as well but I'm gonna set that to negative 30 and then we switch to the tab of color and there the temperature I'm gonna set it to 5 as well as the tint well the tint I'm gonna leave it at 4 I think well let's leave it at 5 and then for bivirance, I'm going to plus 8 and saturation negative 8. Then I'm going to the little color wheel that is on the top of that tab. I don't know if I explained myself. But first I'm going to the color red and the hue, I'm going to put it at plus 20. Saturation at 35 and luminance at negative 20 then I'm switching to the orange color and the hue I'm gonna set it to negative 8 the saturation to plus 8 and luminance to negative 8 as well it's very difficult to land the colors but you know it can be one one more or one less and it won't matter a lot and then for the yellow I'm going with hue of negative 40 and then saturation negative 25 and luminance plus 20 or 21 20 I did it <laughs> then for the green color for the hue, I'm gonna leave it at negative 5 and then saturation at 50 because I really want the green colors in the background to pop. Wait, no. Oh, yes. And then luminance at plus 85 to make the greener lighter, like to show that it has more light, not like a lighter color. And then for the light blue, I don't know if it's called like this, but I don't really know the correct terms to call these colors. So we're just gonna go with light blue. The hue, I'm gonna put it at negative 50. Saturation at plus 25. Luminance at plus 15. And that's it for that color. Now I'm moving on to the dark blue. And the hue, I'm going to put it at negative 35. Saturation at plus 25. And luminance plus 15. 
Then moving on to the purple color, the hue, I'm going to put it at plus 15, the saturation at 10, and luminance at 10 as well. And finally pink, the hue, I'm going to put it at 5 because I want to keep the pink color, saturation at plus 25, and luminance at 30. There. You can see how, let me put the before and after, here's the before and here's the after. I'm not done yet, I'm just gonna switch a little more details. I'm going to the tab of effects and there I'm moving the clarity to plus 10, just to make it a bit more clearer. Wait, no, dehaze, no, no, no. And that's all I'm going to do in the Effects tab. Then I'm moving on to the Details tab. And for Sharpening, I'm going to put it at plus 25. So that it's sharper, of course. Then Detail, I'll keep it at 25. And Noise Reduction, I'm going to bring it up to 25. Detail the second detail in this tab I'm gonna move it from 50 to 55 and then the color noise reduction I'm gonna move it to 20 and the third detail in this tab I'm gonna move it to 55 and that's actually all I do to my picture I'm gonna show again the before and after so as you can see, the before one was very dark because I had the sun blaring like right on top of me. So it was really, really dark. And then with Lightroom, after fixing it, and now it looks so much clearer and very like beachy vibes. You know what I'm saying? And then to create the preset, you click on the picture and then there's three little dots on the far right corner. Well, no, not the far right corner, the top right corner. You click those three little dots and there it says create preset. So you click it and then you can select what tools you want to create, like to be added to your preset. So light, color, effects, details, optics, whatever you want. Here I'm going to select tools as well, as well as light, color, effects and detail. And then you just choose the name. I'm gonna name this, this one Beach Days 3. I already have it named as Beach Days, but you know, to show you guys how to create one. And then you click the check mark on the top, and it's already added to presets. So now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna revert the picture. If you go in the, I don't know how you call this. Well, well, you get all the options. If you go to the farthest right corner, it says re Reset. And I'm going to click Reset All. Just to show you guys how quick and easy it is to do this with the presets. Then I'm going to go to the Presets tab and just click Beach Days 3, which is the one that we've just created. And in one single click, you get, again, the desired effects and lightning. So it's really really great I hope you like this very quick tutorial on how I edit my pictures for Instagram and if you did please make sure to follow me on Instagram it's at Cristilal R and also make sure to leave a comment down here below and give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel and turning on that notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video see you in the next one guys bye